Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Hurricane Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Singer, with my co-host, Troy Harshberger. The Hurricane Junior Golf Tour made a stop at the Georgia Club in Statham, Georgia, for the third annual Athens Junior Shootout. But first, let's talk about our recent partnership with Nike Golf. JGT's new referral program offers each member an opportunity to receive a free dozen Nike One Tour D golf balls. If you refer a friend to the tour and they play in the tournament, you can receive a free dozen Nike One Tour D golf balls, retailed at $58. For more information, check out hjgt.org. The tour was greeted at the Georgia Club by a field size of 44 players, representing cities from Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. The weather this past weekend remained cool and in the mid to upper 80s, giving the golfers an enjoyable atmosphere. The boys' 16 to 19 division was tightly contested as the top five players finished within five strokes of each other. Austin Langdale of Townville, South Carolina finished first overall with a one under par 143 for the weekend. Chandler Ayers of Greer, South Carolina finished second with an even par 144 for the weekend. Langdale and Ayers both tied for the top spot in most pars or better with an 83.3 percentage and Langdale led with a 4.62 par 5 average. Finishing third overall was Jackson Moore with a 2 over par 146 for the weekend. With this victory, Austin Langdale takes over the points lead in the boys 16 to 19 age division on the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour. In the girls 15 to 19 division, Claire Brown of Hartsville, South Carolina took home the title firing rounds of 74 and 75. Brown jumped out to a five-stroke lead and was able to go on to win by six strokes over second-place finisher Margaret Ye of Cumming, Georgia. Brown shot a total of 149, while Ye shot 155 for the weekend. Ye and Brown tied with a 4.75 par-5 average. Finishing in third place was Sidney Conrad of Powder Springs, Georgia, who put together rounds of 84 and 80 to secure the third place trophy with the 164 for the weekend. In the boys 13 to 15 division, the competition would prove to be just as fierce. After being three strokes off the lead at the end of Saturday's round, Jonathan Hardy of Greer, South Carolina would come back with a Sunday round of one under par 71 to seal the victory with a two round total of 147. Hardy controlled three of the major categories for his age group this weekend which attributed heavily to his success. He led the field with eight birdies, the highest par breaker percentage with 22.2%, and the best par five performance with 4.5. A familiar face on the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour, Wesley Long of Bluffton, South Carolina, would finish Saturday four strokes off the lead. But Long fired his second round one under par 71 to vault himself into second place with a two-round total of 148. Wyatt Larkin of Groveton, Georgia, and Coleman Self of Greer, South Carolina, both held the overnight leads, but would give them up on Sunday. Larkin and Self would fall to a tie for third, just two shots off the lead. All right, we're coming to you live from the Georgia Club in Athens, Georgia. I'm here with our two boys champions this weekend, Austin Langdow of Townville, South Carolina, and Jonathan Hardy of Greer, South Carolina. And guys, uh, Austin, you were in the lead. Jonathan, you were chasing. Um, Austin, you shot rounds of 71, 72, and uh, Jonathan, you shot rounds of 76, 71. Uh, take us through some of the highlights of your round that uh, eventually got to you a victory here at the Georgia Club. Austin, you first. Uh, well, yesterday, I didn't ball very good and I just scrambled really well, made the putts count and just got around the course all right. Okay, how about you Jonathan? Um, started out pretty well both days, uh, made four, four birdies in my first nine holes both days and uh, putted pretty well so it just kind of carried me through both my rounds. All right. And guys, you you guys are both highly rated in uh, South Carolina, highly ranked players. Austin, you're in the top five overall, and Jonathan, you're in the top three in your graduation class. 
Uh, tell me, this is the first event of the new school season for you guys both. Uh, what are you looking forward to this year? What are some of your goals, Austin? I just hope you keep playing well. In two weeks, the big tournament in Spartanburg, Bobby Chapman, a lot of nationally ranked players are going to be there. So I hope to continue the streak there, keep playing good. All right, how about you, Jonathan? How does this uh, win help? Uh... Uh, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and stick to my mental game and my, my game plan and see if I can't pull through the rest of the season. All right, great. Well, you heard it from our two boys, champions Austin Langdale of Townville, South Carolina, and Jonathan Hardy of Greer, South Carolina. Thank you, guys. Okay, we're coming to you from the Georgia Club with our final champion of the weekend, Claire Brown of Hartsville, South Carolina. And Claire had a five-shot lead heading into Sunday. She, she opened with a 74. And Claire, tell us all, um, what were you thinking on Sunday, stepping up to the tee with a five-stroke lead? What were some of your, your, your goals out there today, and how did you want to attack the round? Um, when I went into Sunday's round, I knew having a five-shot lead that I had to take advantage of it. So I came out here. I knew I didn't come this far to lose. So I got up there, and I knew I was going to win. And I just played consistently. All right. And Claire, this is um, uh, this win, what does this do for your confidence, and what are some of your goals moving forward for the rest of the year here? Um, I'm hoping that was a big confidence booster. I believe that from now on, I know that I have the ability to keep playing my best, and I'm just going to do what I can and practice the same amount as I've been. I've been working really hard, and I plan to do the same thing all year round until it shows off a little bit more. All right, great. Well, you heard it from our girls' champion, Claire Brown of Hartsville, South Carolina. Athens Junior Shootout proved to be a great tournament this past weekend. The HJGT will be heading up to Hilton Head Island for the Hilton Head Junior Open on September 11th and 12th. Registration closes on September 1st. The North Georgia Junior Open in Woodstock, Georgia follows on the 18th and 19th of September. Registration for the North Georgia Junior Open closes on September 8th. We look forward to seeing you all at the Hilton Head Junior Open at the Golden Bear Golf Course on September 11th and 12th. For my host, Troy Harshberger, I'm Aaron Singer. We'll see you next time on Hurricane Talk.